Hello, Professor Ike. My name is Johnny Tran. I'm from Section 5D, Subsection X. My TA is Taryn, and I'm here to present my project for the spring semester of 2021 on the biography of Leonardo Fibonacci. According to Britannica, his real name is Leonardo Pisano Bonacci, nicknamed Fibonacci. He can also be known as Leonardo Bagolo or Leonardo of Pisa. He was born around 1170 to 75 AD in Pisa, Italy. He died after 1240. He is a 13th century Italian mathematician from the Republic of Pisa. He was widely known as the most, most talented Western mathematician of the Middle Ages. His father, Guillermo Bonacci, was a wealthy merchant which meant Leonardo was able to travel often. And during his travels, he learned about the Hindu Arabic numerals. His contributions to mathematics, according to Christopher O'Neill of Rutgers, was uh, Liber Abaci, which is the book of calculations, which is the arithmetic we learn today, Pratica Geometrae, um, he popularized the Hindu Arabic numeral system in the Western world, Library Quadratorum, and he introduced the, intro the Fibonacci sequence slash numbers, which was the first recurrent series other than the Lucas series. The Fibonacci sequence begins with 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, each number in this sequence is the sum of the two preceding ones, starting with the initial number, zero, and the following number, one. So when you add these numbers up, zero plus one equals one. One plus one is two, two plus three is five, five plus eight is 13, and so on and so forth. The equation for the sequence is represented by F sub n equals F sub n minus one plus F sub n minus two for any number, any nth term over or greater than one. The golden ratio is a natural phenomenon of proportion and symmetry. In Mario Livio's book, The Golden Ratio, he traces the golden ratio's role in the evolution of numerology astronomy, music, architecture, and painting. So we can see that this ratio is known throughout the world. Each of the numbers in this sequence is approximately 1.618 times greater than the preceding number, which is the golden ratio. In order to get this golden ratio, you would divide one of the numbers in the series by its preceding number. For example, 55 divided by 34, which is equal to 1.618. And an example we can see fib numbers used in our world is in the stock market. Nature uses the golden ratio to maintain balance and the financial market seems to also. The golden ratio can also be known as phi. Its importance in the stock market. Fibonacci numbers are found throughout nature. Therefore, traders believe that those numbers have re relevance in the financial markets. These analysts use these, the sequence in order to help them gauge price levels of a stock. Traders use a tool called Fibonacci retracement levels, which are horizontal lines that indicate where a stock could fall or bounce fall or bounce from, also known as support and resistance. The Fibonacci ratios create percentages levels, how it's used within the stock market. As we see in this example from Investopedia, the Fibonacci retracement tool is being used on the stock chart. Key levels of retracement are the 23.6, the 38.2 and the 618. 
in order to find these levels, spe specifically the 618, it is found by dividing one number in the series by the number that follows it. And then with the 38.2, you would divide one number in the series by the number two places to the right of it. So for example, 55 divided by 144, which equals 0 0.3819. For the 23.6% ratio, you would divide one number in the series by the number three places to the right of it. Eight divided, so for example, eight divided by 34, which is 0 0.2352. So suppose you want to get, you see a stock rise 10 to 5, which is a $5 difference. You would, and say you want to use the, I see a 23% pullback. So would you, you would use is the high of the stock, which is $15, minus its difference, five, from, well, the difference from its move, which is five in this case, multiplied by the 0 0.236, which is the 23.6% 23 ratio, which would equal to 13.82, and say you wanna get it at that price. Say you wanna get a 50% pullback, so you would do the same thing again, but instead you would multiply by 0.5 and therefore you would get 12.5. And this is the math behind all the Fibonacci retracements and how you can gauge when to buy a stock. The Fibonacci numbers are very important in everyday life. This is the end of my presentation. Math is fun and not useless. We can apply it to most part of, a life, of our lives. Thank you for listening to my presentation on Leonardo Fibonacci.